I think it's great when, you know, people can just drop off a hot meal on someone's doorstep and just to, just to know someone else is thinking about them. Someone cares if they eat tonight. Someone wants to relieve a little stress. It's, it's a powerful statement and I, I hope it continues for years and years to come. I'm Sherry Vandenacker, and I'm here for the Reading Coalition for Prevention and Support. And today we are talking with Andrea Scullin about Lasagna Love. Lasagna Love is a program that's provided a lot of wonderful meals and caring to families in Reading um, throughout this period of time. And we're excited to learn more about it. So Andrea, thanks so much for being with us today. Happy to be here. Thank you. Thanks. So Andrea, tell us a little bit about Lasagna Love. So Lasagna Love was born in March of 2020 when um, blogger and mom Rhiannon Men was, you know, kind of watching the pandemic unfold and saying, well, how can I help? What can I do? So she um, posted on her community Facebook group and says, does anybody want a lasagna? Like as simple as that. And before she knew it, we, before we all knew it, it's we're 20,000 volunteers strong across the, the country with over 60,000 lasagnas delivered between the 50 states and Puerto Rico. 60,000. As far as you know, is there a lasagna love in every state? Yeah, so we've delivered in every state and um, there's there's global expansion talks happening, but um, it's it's been pretty it's been pretty intense to watch unfold and it's I've been incredibly lucky to be a part of it. How did you bring lasagna love to Reading? So I was in, I don't know, a Facebook mom group or something, and someone posted and said that they were cooking for lasagna love in their area. And if anybody needed a lasagna to go to this website to sign up, and I thought, I can make lasagna. I like to make lasagna. So I um, I submitted my name to be a lasagna volunteer. And then I, I got an email back saying, you know, we're new to your area. We don't have a leader. Um, you know, do you have any interest? And um not quite understanding what I was getting into, I said, sure. And um, so it, it just kind of went from there. So I started with, um, you know, growing it in Reading and the towns around it. And now um, I oversee all the regional leaders in Massachusetts and Rhode Island and still kind of take care of Reading and the towns around it. And you do all this as a volunteer? Volunteer, yes. Thank you. How many people in Reading are cooking? So um, in, I can speak specifically to the region that Reading encompasses, um, which is Reading and the surrounding towns. So we have over 120 volunteers. And then we had, you know, volunteers who may have popped in for one time, cooked once and, you know, have moved on, which is totally fine. You want to cook once, we'll, we'll have you once. Um, so we, we have had more volunteers over the year, but currently right now we have about 120 active volunteers to cover that nine town radius. Nine town radius. Okay. So... If I am cooking for lasagna love, my lasagna might go to someone in Reading or might go to someone in Stoneham or nearby? Well, that's entirely up to you. So when you sign up for lasagna love, you sign up for, you can sign up just this once or you can sign up to, we have some people delivering two or three a week. And they um, say when they sign up, you know, I want to drive two miles, I only want to drive five miles or I'll drive 25, 50 miles or whatever. And then the um, website that we use pairs the volunteers with the families who request based on mileage and dietary request. So, I mean, and then we have um, volunteers in Reading and the towns around it who contribute to our statewide events. So for example, we've partnership, partnered with the Massachusetts Grandparents um, for Raising Grandchildren Commission. And so um, for the past couple of months, all of their families and their support groups have been receiving lasagna on a certain date at a certain time. Um, so yeah. I love possibilities are endless. It sounds like it. So how does it work? So if I wanted to sign up to make lasagna, how would I do that? You would go to lasagnalove.org and then you can sign up to, um, you know, be a lasagna chef. And um, like I said, you, it's, it's totally up to you, whatever you feel comfortable doing. You want to sign up just once and see how you like it. If you want to sign up 
to do three, four a month, if, uh, bi-weekly, whatever, whatever your comfort level is, we have a spot for you. And are there recipes there or? Yeah, so we have, you know, the lasagna love recipe um, and that recipe specifically tries to sneak some veggies in there. There's some grated zucchini and summer squash in there, but um, the chefs are welcome to use absolutely any recipe they have, you know, as long as they're following um, any of the dietary concerns that a family might have. So it sounds like if I want to donate a lasagna or sign a family up to receive a lasagna, that uh, if that family is vegetarian or has no nuts or allergies of some kind that that will not exclude them from receiving lasagna right so when a chef signs up they tell us what they feel comfortable doing so if it's you know a vegan um lasagna we can do that gluten-free vegetarian um dairy free so and then any non-life-threatening allergy we can do our best to accommodate but um if it's if it's a life threatening issue, we, we unfortunately won't be able to help. That makes sense. So let's say that I would like to sign up a family that I know is going could really benefit from kind of the equivalent of the casserole in the old days. A family mm -hmm. who I think would love to receive a lasagna because of what's happening. What would I do to get that family signed up to receive a lasagna? So there's two things that could happen. One, you could go to the Lasagna Love website and um, you could nominate them to receive a lasagna. So when, what happens then is you input their um, cell phone number and they get a text message with the form where they fill out their information and, and any dietary requests and um, sign off on the waiver. And then um, it, from there, it gets put into our system. Or you could you know, send them the link directly, lasagnalove.org slash request, and they could fill it out for themselves. Um, and if you're an agency where you have families who um, would benefit from, you know, kind of like a group event or a, a bulk lasagna drop or whatever, then you can reach out to me on Facebook or um, at my Lasagna Love email at andrealasagnalove.org. Now, what if I am a lousy cook and I can't make a lasagna, but I really want to support this effort? Do you take monetary donations or have people deliver? What can I yeah, do? Yeah, so we are um, a 501c3, so like a, a, a official nonprofit. So we accept website um, donations on our website and um, you could um, donate like as a one-time or you could sponsor a chef. So we have um, people who do Patreon sponsorships and then our chefs on, in return commit to five lasagnas a month. Um, and then on that delivery, it'll say it was sponsored by, you know, so-and-so and then um when i start posting in the next few weeks or two i'm gonna add an amazon wish list so we're gonna be trying to collect some non-perishable items lasagna noodles crushed tomatoes all that um so there's there's lots of ways to give back if you want to it sounds like it do how many lasagnas do you think have been cooked in our area made for people in our area yeah so i was i was trying to do the um math last night and i I can confidently say we've delivered around 700 lasagnas since um, the fall of last year in Reading and the area around it. Have you heard from anybody who's received a lasagna? Has anybody said what it's meant to them? Yeah, so we've gotten tons of positive feedback. You know, it was, it was just something to brighten their day. It was the comfort they didn't know they needed or it was the comfort they knew they needed. Um, I've had um, donations show up in my mailbox to pay it forward. Um, People have um, done all, all sorts of stuff. They comment on the Facebook post saying, you know, how much it meant to them. And then I think the best thing someone could do once they've received a lasagna is nominate someone else, you know, just continue passing it on. So Andrea, I think sometimes people might feel a little funny asking for a lasagna or even nominating someone. We still have so much stigma around asking for help and asking for love. It's lasagna love. So... What would you say to somebody who's a little hesitant about either asking for a lasagna or nominating someone? I would say not to hesitate. I would say request. I would say we want to cook. Um, we have volunteers. We, we have over 100 volunteers who, you know, in the face of this pandemic said, I want to do something to help. And they a request each week doesn't, you know, put them off. They're not stressed. And if, if they have financial concerns, we can support them in that way. So this is just something people are genuinely wanting to do to spread kindness in our community. Um, 
that's that's our you know our mission is to feed families, spread kindness, and strengthen communities. I love that mission, and it is true that sometimes in helping someone else on a rough day, we are it's a gift to us too. So right. a request can be a gift to the chef as well as yeah. um, to the recipient. So Andrew, do you um, foresee lasagna love continuing even after the pandemic is in the rearview mirror? Yes, I do because you know people haven't only been feeling discomfort during the pandemic. You know, there's always been a need to uplift people and support people and give back in that way. And, you know, people want to do something that gives a direct impact. And there, I, I think it's great when, you know, people can just drop off a hot meal on someone's doorstep and just to, just to know someone else is thinking about them. Someone cares if they eat tonight, someone wants to relieve a little stress. It's, it's a powerful statement. And I, I hope it continues for years and years to come. I hope so too. So everyone, lasagnalove.org, is that right, Andrea? Yes. To either sign up to make lasagna, to receive lasagna, to nominate someone to receive lasagna, or to make a donation. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. I've really, really enjoyed learning more about Lasagna Love and getting to meet you. Thank you. Thank you.